hi everyone in this video i will show you something very special now as you know that in my previous videos i will have shown you how to bypass a lock device maybe an ipad maybe an iphone but that is really inconvenient as it gets disconnected every time and you need to enter the dns uh, server codes every time in this method you don't need to enter the dns bypass every time even if you lock the iphone or ipad it won't get disconnected you will stay in the same page and uh, it hopefully will help you get the most out of a lock device actually you can use a lock device right now please go forward and watch the video when you are on the activation lock page keep pressing the home button and you'll get the Wi-Fi settings button just press it and you will be here in the choose a Wi-Fi network settings and the I button beside your Wi-Fi and you'll go here and you find the client ID over here now the client ID location depends upon the iOS versions so in the latest iOS 12 versions of iOS you'll get the client ID in configure IPv4 settings so now what we are gonna do is that now we have to enter some special characters you have to follow what I type I, I will also show that in the screen as well as in the description so that you don't have any issues make sure you enter this correctly if you enter it incorrectly then you might not get connected Now, now in this part where I'm typing 104.155.220.58, this is the DNS server code for all the countries in Asia. Now, if you are outside Asia, please refer to the screen instruction where you'll get their DNS uh, codes for other continents. And if you have if you have still any doubts about what your DNS code will be for your country, so please you can comment in the uh, in the comment section and just let me know. I'll just reply you. Now after you have completed entering all uh, the entire text, now you need to select all and copy. I'll just show you why. Now just go back and again press the I button. As you can see that the client ID is still there so it's okay fine. Let us connect with the Wi-Fi right now. So let us again go back and let it process again. Mm, it's okay so start over again. There's not an issue. Just go through the normal process. You selecting a country really doesn't matter in this case you can select any country so so and then connect to your Wi-Fi let it process so you see an activation log page as usual so right now what you are gonna do is you cannot paste the thing that you've copied so the entire thing got pasted all right and then you in the password section you just press one space Yes, only one space. Then you hit next. See that something else has come that is IDNS portal. So just uh, in the password section, you can just press a space as before and then click. Don't click on the next, but click on the IDNS portal. Now this should go, uh, take you to another server. Uh, the DNS server codes are also present over here and we'll just go to the menu so you'll get to see a lot of applications like chat rooms flashlight clock camera so let's just click on camera you can explore things after going inside and check check out the features so definitely it might be something so I'm not gonna see what's this you can paste an image URL I don't know what what you can you, you can just uh, go and try out I'll just focus on the other features and things and now you can use a flashlight yeah that's true I've tested it and you can definitely use a flashlight by using this you can get access to your camera as you can see and if you have a flashlight in your iPad or iPhone then you will be able to use that you can also uh, capture a photo and use that photo 
so i'm not going to details you can just explore whatever you are wanting to and then you have social internet mail mail now google may also have access to maps application video audio you can have access to all the social medias like facebook twitter stream pinterest and more so you can just log to your facebook or etc if you so you can use this ipad now you'll get access to internet as well so one more thing now in the video section you will be given access to youtube and the other things like daily motion and etc and more to discover in settings you can get something about this device and going back now you'll see something like uh, the internet connectivity sign something at the bottom right now here you can surf the net like i'm going to google.com sorry So yeah, it takes me to Google now. By now, by looking at your iPad, you won't understand that this is a locked device. It definitely looks like a, an unlocked device, and I'm just going to show you the major advantages of this. So, and you'll go to the address bar over here in this application. Now you will see the history as well. So you will be having your history as well, and you can the clear history also. So there's something really I like, and then you'll have access to audio apps like many things like i'm not going into details now in the application section inside you can get to see the crashes you can definitely try the crashes and you also you also get to see the dropbox google drive you can use all of them and evernote calculator so what i'm going to use here is that i'll just go with the idnx hacks So this will take you something uh, to some similar UI of iOS. So slide to unlock and then you get to see a similar interface as to iPhones and iPads in their unlock condition. Now this is not something I recommend using but uh, just uh, as a feature I had to tell this. So you can use other things as well, this OneDrive. So the best thing is that if you lock the device, now you are still in the same page. Yes, you are still in the same page. You don't have to redo the entire process to come to this page. So that's a really very good thing that that makes it useful. That really makes it useful and convenient. So let's just switch off the device and let's see if I have to what are the process I have to repeat for going to that page. So let's just switch it on and So you need to select the language as usual and you have to select your country, it doesn't matter again, you can select any country and then connect to your Wi-Fi as usual. So you see the activation log page again. So again you have to take the client ID what we had entered into the client ID, Hope, hopefully it's still there in the client ID. So yeah it's there, so you don't need to enter the client ID even after switching off the device so you just copy this and do next so simply paste it over here and as usual just put a space as the password and just put next and you will see the idns portal now one more thing i missed out in the previous time so is that you if you want to nickname if you want to give yourself a nickname or you can say it's as a, as a profile as you want to write your name or something like that in inside the server just uh, have to type your name or whatever you are wanting to name in the apple id section and the password will be 
a single space and then press the IDNS portal. So as you see hello useful stuff that's the name I wanted to show here so that's what. And yes this new method is for all iCloud log devices for iPads for iPhones for all iOS uh, for all iOS versions so without any worry you can try this out please thumbs up this video and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already put on your bell notifications to get early notifications as soon as some video is posted on my channel and definitely I'll bring up more better stuffs in near future thank you